Uh, next speaker is uh, the founder of Farrell Hair Replacement. Uh, he's a renowned hair artisan. He'll discuss the state-of-the-art ultra-custom non-surgical hair replacement options that he has. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Richard Farrell to the stage. Okay. What I performed is ultra-custom hair replacement. And what that means is, uh, basically, I just put the hair back on the head. It's, we don't have to wait for things to grow. There's no surgery involved. No topical solutions. Pretty simple what I do. It's a very complicated business what I do, but it's very, very simple. Basically, I just want to put it back. I figure we're going to be on this planet for many, many, many years. Maybe the younger generations anywhere are going to be here to maybe, uh, they might live to maybe 100, 100 years old. I feel we should be able to project a lot of hairstyles in that, in that period uh, with our peers and things like this. We should be looking good. Um, Michael, are you here? Yes, you are. Could you bring this chair up here? Because um, what I want to do is actually just do a demonstration. We all know what uh, hair pieces are. You've heard of toupees and things like this. Uh, in ultra custom hair replacement, people that make hair systems and process them the way that I want them done. But I'm still hands on. I don't have to be. I could hide out. And I would if I was still working in that first place I went, I went to when I thought, you know, I, I gotta get into this, I gotta get into this, you know? I would be hiding out because I would, it used to be where Michael's coming in tomorrow. My God, he's a young guy, I gotta put this thing on. I'll, you know, we'll thin it out. No, I'll put little tiny kicky hairs on the front. He'll cover it, it'll be all right. I can't work that way. I can't, you know? I've gotta get off on what I do. You know, and if I'm going to get off on what I do, I got to do things right, and I got to feel about it. I don't want to stress the night before, and I want the experience to be good. If they were bad, I wouldn't do it. But you'll find me in every city, pretty much, doing this because I like it. I like our clients. I like our workers. I like, I like it. It's great. And we make people feel good, especially people that really need it. Children. We've got a lot of children. We have a huge African-American uh, clientele now. This is really new. In fact, people think we're an African-American company now. We have so many African-American models on our website now. But, um, uh, that's a, but and that's a hard barrier to break, because I'm a white guy, you know? And they see a white guy up there, how's he gonna do my black hair? You know, it's just the way it is. But luckily, I have skilled artisans that are uh, adept and you know, knowledgeable in, in that medium, working with that type of uh, hair. But anyway, um, I'm, j I'm just rambling, because we got a whole hour. But uh, this is Michael, by the way. He's, uh, um, he's uh, offered to be my model. And I just want you to know, um, I just got in town this morning. So I'm just, we, we went to what's called the Lucky Box. The Lucky Box has some systems that are meh, but OK. And even though it was custom made for someone, it really wasn't truly custom made for Michael. But uh, it's going to be okay. It's, I'm, pr I'm proud of it. And the hairline looks good. Everything densities have changed, but it's okay for me to do a cut in because the main thing I want you to see is this: it's not going to be real thick. It's going to look like a real head of hair. It's going to move around, and you can see the potential here. You know, so Michael, uh, okay. <clears throat> I never thought when I was a kid that I would grow up and someday be working on hair pieces. In fact, as a, as a hairstylist, I, I always thought of it as goofy. I really did. I, it's like I, I just had certain images that we all have about hair systems. As um, the comedian, uh, is it Jamie? Jason. Jason. As J Jason was talking about, and he had all these uh, jokes about hair systems. I kind of felt the same way. You know, it's like I would never, ever wear a hair system. You know, because they, you know, it's, it's a toupee, it's a wig, it has all, all these things. In fact, that one, when I really got interested in uh, hair replacement, and this is hair replacement, 
They're not, I don't make hair pieces. I'll call them hair pieces. In fact, one of my first ads was, yes, this is a hair piece, but the guy looked great. Let's just kind of dispel these myths. I mean, so, it's so silly. It's like, oh, God, it's not growing out of my head. I don't want to wear it. Okay, fine, don't. Walk along the back of the bar or whatever and don't, don't project. You know, look, the, the thing is this, I want to say, is that hair systems are not going to take away anybody's problems, They're not going to solve all your problems. In fact, I'd like to actually approach this differently the way I do in the salon or the salons is that I tell everyone the negatives. Look, you're trading having hair back for cleaning it. They have to be cleaned. Sorry. The weakest link in this is the adhesives. Got some pretty damn good adhesives. Oh, by the way, uh, you'll see something taped on here because I just taped this on. The very last thing I do is I'm going to cut off this lace. Lace is somewhat old technology now in a way because because uh, Max Factor used these back, used lace back in the 20s and 30s and 40s, but. Our lace is proprietary. We have it specially blended and made in mills in Switzerland. It's a blend of two materials. It's, it's like a, a polymer and a polyester. I can't use what's out there. I'll be like everyone else. Okay? I want to stop these lace fronts from fraying. So when the, this material is laid out and melted, the polymer melts into the polyester and it actually stops it from fraying. Like if you cut Levi's, do you, do you remember when you were a kid, maybe you had what was called pirate pants? If you just cut them, they just look really horrible. Like your mom just cut your jeans and you're running around the neighborhood. But then by the time you fiddle with them enough, they start shredding. They're called pirate pants. So that's what happens to lace. Lace, when I first made systems, would last maybe two months. But guys didn't care because they were wearing like a certain discount chains unit. And frankly, if we turn this around, maybe, or one might, no, this one will still look good, but if you turn a, one of my systems around that have maybe a polyurethane edge, that's what these guys were wearing. But they didn't care if it only lasted two months, because, God, look how I'm looking. Look, I, I, can, I, don't have to, I don't have to hide. Now our lace systems, uh, in the front, the lace is lasting maybe nine months to 12 months, and the guys that really have the hands are getting a year and a half in two years. But it's all on the website, so these guys will tell you themselves. So anyway, in the front here, I thought you would just be my fourth four hands. In fact, if anything, sometimes I'm criticized for making them thin. But it's okay with me because I can make them thin. Most of these are really, really thick. You know, companies that sell factory systems and they're totally factory reliant. You know, they're just thick. And, they, and the, <laughs> I've been there, and I feel, I, I feel sorry for a stylist that have to deal with that, because they go in with these little thinning shears, and I figure, well, it's thick, I'll just make it thinner. Well, that puts little stubs, and it ruins that scalp-like appearance. It really has to be made to the right um, uh, density in the beginning. Now, you think I thought about what I'm going to do to them? I really don't. You know, it's, I really did, excuse me. This is just a system from the Lucky Box. But one thing I see is that it moves like his. He's got the center gravity split. Okay, we can see right in. He doesn't. He won't have to hide that hairline. It looks pretty uneven. The colors closely matches his. So he's real short on the side. I've got some systems we call shortcuts. And um, and by I'm taking shortcuts, so I can cut real fast. I'm just starting with some um, with a razor. Because on the side, we don't want any blunt lines. So what happens? If a guy gets a system, uh, uh, what's going to happen when his hair grows? Well, if you cut the lines, many, the, the outside uh, perimeter here, with very many little lengths, I mean, it's going to take him through very, very uh, varying growth periods. Longer and shorter, it'll always blend in. We have systems, uh, oh, the shortcuts, by the way, excuse me. Uh, one of the hardest things to achieve with hair systems is a very, very short, well, let's say like a military type do, you know, some type of military cut. Um, main thing is because of placement, it's real hard to place. You know, if you have real short hair on the sides, then also you can look right in at the base, any imperfections at the base, you know, that you can see. So most systems, since they're so thick, you can't, you can't, you usually can't take them very short, but we have a uh, 
new line of systems now, they're not as durable, but at least we get the, we reach our aesthetic uh, effects uh, or the, the client's aesthetic goals. Um, we make it very, very thin, one hair everywhere, match especially on the side, and a very, very fragile material, kind of, kind of, almost kind of in the lace family, to where no matter where it separates, they'll have the same density on the side as they will the top instead of seeing that it looks like it was painted on, because most hair systems just look painted. You know, um, we're not, uh, we have our share of actors and things like this. I do not want to be one of these set people that has the, you know, the, the I'm not the stylist of the stars. I just, oh, a, guy, a guy came to um, an interview with me, and his name was Roberto, stylist of the stars, he said. You know, I, like, I couldn't believe he said that to me. He wants to work for me in New York, but um, um, the thing is, for, you know, when, if you look at, uh, Oh, I don't want to mention names, but if you look at some of these people, there's one karate guy, you know he's got his hair pulled back, and you know it's real thin, but yeah, it's dark. He's, this scalp is painted. That, I guess that's good. There's a market for that. You know, you know the brands out there. I guess I just don't prostitute myself. I believe in one stupid thing. I want to put the hair back right. I'm not a grocery store. If you want to go to a grocery store, you can find every single thing on the market. You want this, you want this, you want this. I believe in one thing putting it back, you know, and that's the way it should be. You should believe in something. That's what I stand for. What are, if something can come along and blow us out of the box, it's the way it goes, but I'm going to believe in what I do until then. I've never ordered a system from a factory. Never. From day one, I've always made my own systems. Because I'll tell you, I worked with those. When someone comes to me with a slight problem, I talk them out of hair replacement. At least I talk them out of my type of hair replacement. Um, I might suggest go and get some transplants. You just want to fill in those recessionaries? Recessionaries? Go ahead. If you have a whole section of uh, scalp that have to replace, I'm sorry, I just don't think you can put those hair follicles close together or ever get the density, or ever have the hairstyles you want. You're still candle option. That's just the way I feel. What's the harm of starting out non-surgically? Not hurting anything. Worst case scenario, ends up in a drawer somewhere. You know, everyone's shaving their head anyway. I don't think white guys look good with shaved heads, but uh, we look like Aryan Nation people. I certainly wouldn't shave my head. But, uh, you know, African American guys look great. And I'm so glad. I'll tell you, I've, I've got this place uh, near West Hollywood, and uh, once in a while, uh, you know, when I get out and go out and look at who's walking the streets, thank God hair is back now. I mean, for about five or six years, I've just seen everyone in the same uniform, bald, white t-shirt, you know, bald, excuse me, shaved heads, white t-shirt, and uh, blue jeans, and it was the look, but it's over now. I think if you were part of the gang, and your thing is to burglarize homes in the neighborhood, and you don't want to look the same running out of a window with the stereos. I think that stuff works, but man, we're here to have hair and to not bump our heads on cabinets when we're under, you know, underneath the table and uh, you know, all those kind of things. So I went on a, a, a talk show, a national talk show, um, it was called Gabrielle. I always forget her name. Sweet lady, it was the Gabrielle show. And it was it's all beautiful. So I had to go against these guys, right? On this one theater, the guy's getting the transplants. You know, if you, on, on a on a screen, he's he's in New York. We're in Hollywood, and I have these all these beautiful guys, biker types, thick necks, nothing nothing up here, you know. And uh, they were goofing on me and things like this. Two of the three guys are my clients now. After the show, they said, "Wow, whoa, whoa, wow, I didn't think you could." I'm oh, sorry. Didn't think you could really look this good. Uh, so, uh, can I have your card? So anyway, we got the card. Ah, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, they got our cards. Sorry. I'm not going to make too much of a haircut, you guys. It's just, uh, I just want you to see how when I move things around, though, you know, Michael's just going to look like he's just got hair. That's the whole thing. I don't care how long 
or how short he wants it, or how short or long any, any client wants it. Let's just put the kind of hair up there that person wants. Now, the drawbacks. Because, man, people should know about the drawbacks before you jump into non-surgical. You've got to clean these. It's not simple. I have some attachment methods that are very simple. Some people really would like to take them off at night. Um, I've got a gorgeous wife. I don't want her to see me without hair, so if I go through the trouble of putting hair on there, and I, I, mean, I want her to wake up to see me for you know, the same way, at least for two weeks. And in two weeks, I take it off and put another one on. I'm talking like I have one, but that's what I would do. I've been living vicariously with my clients, and the, the ones that are real happy do that. You know? Um, but there is some logic, especially when my hair used to be really long, to where, God, I sometimes just wish it was waiting for me outside of the shower so I didn't have to wash and condition it and tangle it and everything that's uh, involved in that, involved with that. So uh, there are some uh, functional aspects of wearing hair. So you are just trading one thing for another. Get your looks back. But probably once every two weeks, you watch Seinfeld or whatever you watch, and uh, do a service. We furnish all of our customers with two systems. We want to make it so that they can actually switch. In other words, uh, at one time, we used to have... Um, all of our clients had one system, and I was like the other companies, if you will. I mean, I mean, I started with one of those. And with one system, they had to come in every four to six weeks and have their bonding done. They had to be reattached. Well, the worst thing is that everyone comes in on a Saturday, and they'd be lining up, you know, outside of each room saying, God, Richard, I'm sorry, I've got to be four hours of hair edition. I haven't been in in a year, you know. And I got to, I'm going to a wedding at three o'clock. It's like, it was just too much. It got too crazy. And I had to figure a way around this. And also, they'd come in after a month, and they were, you know, adhesive, you know, would be building up in their fronts. And, and it was just horrible. See, again, I want to talk the negatives about this, you know. It's like, you've got to work with these adhesives. The hair has to be clean. The hair has to be separated. It can't be glued to where it looks like antlers. You know, it has to be separated. And it looks like it's growing out from the skin. That only comes from keeping it clean. So I just put my put the foot down and said, look, you know, at the expense of losing all that monthly maintenance stuff, you know, I mean, that's profitable. That's why these companies really lock you into those maintenance agreements. I said, I want you guys looking good. So look, I'm going to furnish you with two systems. You switch on your own. Come in when we want a haircut. Big deal. If you need some hair addition, come on in. So now um, it's just a lot better. No one's taken off on a Saturday and having to go to a hair replacement salon while their system's being serviced. Okay, with Michael, I don't want to do anything real, real long. You know, um, unfortunately, on my website and everything, I think I've got too many uh, long photos, so I'm going to just go real short with Michael in the front, anyway. Because I don't want him to be able to disguise. So let's just go shorter. Let's give him one of those brush-up friends type looks since we're talking about that. I'm just doing this so you notice when I take it short, it even looks thinner. So let's let's even go shorter so you can just look right in there. Has anyone in this room ever worn a hair system before?
tendency is and I'd be the same way, to be honest with you. Um, if I, especially if I didn't know what the state of the art was, my natural tendency would be definitely to seek a surgical option. Um, I plan to offer a surgical option, but it won't. It's not what you're thinking, and it's nothing like whatever's been done. But everything I don't like about hair systems, I want to fix. It's a long process. It happens a day at a time. It really does. But uh, someday, I will have a base. I'm working on it now, that you will not be able to, to, to see or feel. I mean, absolutely not. You will not be able to feel anything. And um, I have some ideas with that. Also, the, the next thing is, uh, the reason I'm going in that direction is because another thing I don't like about hair systems. But they work darn good. Are these adhesives. I don't like them. So everything about hair systems has to be changed and just out of necessity. Our systems only look as good as they do simply because everything factory systems did, I had to change. I had to be in control of the process. Trust me, it would be much easier to order from the factory. Much easier. And I see why people do it, and they've got the bucks. I've got five facilities down in uh, uh, Mexico, Rosa de Beach area. And, uh, more workers than, I, I mean, we got so far about 104 workers. That, uh, this, maybe it sounds like a lot or sounds like little, but, but you know, let's just let you know our size. We're really kind of small. We really are. 104 workers is nothing. You know, I've been to these factories in China where there's like six, seven or eight story buildings with three or 4,000 workers. They all live there for months and months and months and months and eat there and play there and uh, it's quite an experience actually seeing what's happening there. But um, we're small. I think I know most of my clients, if I, if I have designed their systems, I like to be the one that cuts them in. Of course, you know, obviously they have great staff that also does this, but it doesn't sound like I have to do it. I'm at this point where I want to stop doing some of it. Now, right off the bat, since I've just been rambling, first impression, because you see that as we're cutting, does this look natural to you guys, or does it look like an abnormal amount of thick <coughs> hair? When we're through here, you're welcome to uh, walk up to Michael, put your hands to it, do whatever you'd like, ask him questions. He's uh, really articulate. He should be on stage actually talking instead of me. He's a really smart guy. Anything you need to find out about us or our company, it's out there just right on the web. Um, most people, when they come to see us, know everything about us. We don't have salesmen. There's no consultation rooms. There's no one in suit, suit and ties. You won't find maintenance agreements. If you know someone that is stuck in a maintenance agreement, we will do whatever we can to get them off it, even furnish, furnish them with a pair of systems. Uh, these things add up. And uh, see, yesterday in Chicago, I had a guy that's on a company's platinum plan. And he wanted me to rush his systems. And he says, because Richard, I'm paying $530 a month. $530 a month. This is after a down payment. It's obscene. I told you what these guys pay for their systems. You know, they need to go away. I swear they need to go away. And I know that sounds cruel, but, but it's, it's not right. 
It's not right. They trap people in with these agreements instead of quality. It's just not right. Once the client uh, actually wears one of our systems, there's a certain amount of maintenance that will happen. But you know, most of you, whether you've admitted to it or not, already have some kind of a duty budget. You have to go pay for your haircuts. Some of you cover your hair. Your wives perm their hair. You know, whatever. So with us, we're going to have to eventually replace the system, of course. But you know, instead of having these throwaway systems that uh, other companies have, we'll make sure your systems last somewhere between a pair of systems between four and eight years. That's a long time for hair. We've been accused of, oh yes, yes, they're the best in the world, blah, blah, blah. But they're also the most expensive. We're less than the discounts. We just don't understand it. When Fidel Sassoon came to the United States, you know, there were basically roller set salons. You guys don't know if that's in them or uh, maybe you're not that old, I don't know. But anyway, there were roller set salons. And, uh, you know, it's like a, a hairstylist at that point only needed like 50 customers, 10 people a day, five days a week. And to get a new client in your chair, I mean, and you had to basically wait for someone to die because your book's solid. You know, it's like, so, and basically they were older clientele, so the barbers were doing the, the precision haircutting, I guess, at the time. But uh, Sassoon started teaching precision haircutting. Of course, maybe you remember he did the Beatles and things like this, and it, even though that was kind of floppy, the Beatles were damn cool, damn cool. And um, the thing is, uh, we went through a period of hair health, less of this rolling and things like this. And he told you, he told everyone, you've got to get up with these new styles or you'll be closing your shops. So how many roller set shops are off there anymore? So I predict that uh, public awareness, we're going to do our best to let people know, public awareness is going to somewhere out force these companies that have you know, these big discount chains that have been in Chapter 7 a few times, just restructure, they get some money from Japan over here. Okay, we're in business again, you know. Or there are super gloomy people on uh, in New Jersey, and they're riddled with lawsuits. Their days should be numbered if you guys are paying attention. We are on kind of a mission, I guess. There's things I like and don't like about every system that I'm cutting in. This is working pretty darn good. You know, even under these lights, as good as whatever I can see here, looks pretty good. And like I say, this is, uh, I thought this was out of a lucky box, but uh, we can, um, this is a starting point. From here, we improve on things. When I make these, I, I actually take a plaster cast of the person's head. So we, we actually have a head, okay, that we make the system on. And on that head shape or head form are all our markings. So when we make a system, there's just no way we can goof on size or or um, or many other elements that we incorporate into the systems. I mean, it's just like making them right on yours, your head, the whole time. 